Bux has been given some sad news that Mix 96 is closing down. And you asked well, him to put on the... On is the, it closing down? I don't not know. If I, not if I have anything to do with it. Ah, there, yeah. there is a campaign. Um, so my, my colleague, uh, Councillor Richard Lloyd, leader of the town council, um, has been hugely involved in that campaign, which also involves hundreds, in fact, thousands of members of the public out there. There's a really strong feeling about Mix 96 being part of the town's identity. It's not just a music station that has a bit of local news and traffic news. They support so many town council events and other events throughout the year. Uh, they give politicians like me a platform when we really need to raise a point about something that's going on in the town. You know, we can go to the local studios and do an interview. Um, and they, they, they really are part of our community. So they've been sold to a company called Bauer Media, okay. along with about 30 other radio stations up and down the country. Right. And Bauer's plan, <coughs> excuse me, is to um, basically have one sort of national brand, greatest hits radio, right. playing all the same music, broadcast from London with a, an occasional local news bulletin and the traffic news being geared to the local area. Um, we think that um, <clears throat> Mix 96 is so much more a part of Aylesbury than just what's going on down the A41 or the A418. Um, so we really want to keep it in its current form or as close to that as we can. You know, it's been part of the town since 1994. So really there's a petition. I think, wow. I think it was round about, certainly the 90s. Um, wow. And, um, yeah, we, we've heard a lot of stories from people who've, um, who've had their events supported, good causes they're raising money for, um, all kinds of things, and they... They turn up to events and help to promote them. Our um, annual Live in the Park concert, they sponsor the second stage, um, which gives yeah. up-and-coming local acts a chance to perform on a big stage in front of thousands of people. So it's it's really great what they do. So we launched a petition. Okay. Nearly 3,000 people have already signed. Okay. Um, we got posters going up in Windows, Save Mix 96. Um, the, today, uh, myself and Councillor Richard Lloyd wrote a letter to Bauer Media and we've sent it to our local MP, Rob Butler, and also to Ofcom, um, setting out all the reasons why Mix 96 is different and unique to this area and we want it kept that way.